Hey there and welcome back to Ministry Designs. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the meeting schedule tool uh, inside of Birdseed. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm in my customized tools on my left side panel here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click up on meeting schedule. If you don't have meeting schedule added, just hit add tool and then add it to your panel. Uh, to edit this, of course, we can hit the drop down arrow. And then now we're in business. So you can see right away that I have two different options on the Birdseed website for short, short session for quick questions and also total software demonstration um, and they're different timelines uh, different schedules different hours so you can control those all within this feature so uh, it's a really great tool if you want to do types of scheduling uh, scheduling meetings scheduling appointments uh, this is a great tool for you so uh, it's pretty easy to use tool title up top you see this is it says schedule your custom demonstration uh, that's the top there also we have your um, panel title as well so excuse me so tool title is what shows up uh, internally and then your panel title is what will actually show up here um, so then down below that we have visibility so when should this tool be shown so right away we can choose to have this tool be shown always or depending on working hours or after hours uh, if you're gonna be scheduling uh, you probably want to keep this always open so people can schedule all times of the day but they can just choose what uh, time of the day that you have available based on this hour so this will just show inside your birdseed panel all the time um, below that we have custom texts so we can edit some custom text so like uh, show earlier times show later times confirm your day Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday months years all that stuff is all uh, all in there for you to use uh, below that we have date format so month day year or day month year you have the option to choose uh, below that we have number of days so this is the number of days it will actually display in your widget so you can actually control uh, how many days you want to display when someone's scheduling so you can show I only want people to schedule seven days out and that's seven if I want it to be 14 I can put 14 and it'll show all the available days over the next 14 days um, so you can choose how many days will actually display in the widget when people are scheduling uh, a notification email so this is when someone actually um, schedules an appointment with you you can have an email go to uh, your email address that will say hey someone just scheduled so you can put your own email in there or a business email that you check frequently for your schedulings um, and it will notify you when someone has scheduled on your calendar um, and you can see that we can also put a reply in here by the down arrow uh, you can change the subject as well as the email message so the contact details this will automatically fill with the details of the contact of whoever scheduled the meeting so it'll say you know joe at five o'clock scheduled a meeting on tuesday right uh, and that'll automatically fill you can put other things up here if you want and you can change the subject to new meeting schedule or whatever that would be uh, below that we have event types so this is where you can customize the different types of events that people can choose from so like i said before right now we have two different events uh, that we can choose from so say maybe you have like um, if you're like in a counseling field and you wanted to have like a 30 minute session an hour session or like a couple session right um, then what you could do is create three different event types for people to schedule uh, we're going to come back to manage event types in a minute uh, because there's some more detail in that but you can actually manage and create those event types so people can choose which one they want to schedule for and then pick an appropriate time uh, below that we have icons so you can see you know what icon I want to use for my calendar or you can upload a custom one if you want to do that uh, these are those icons on the right they will automatically be colorized according to your color palette and of course save and close um, so now let's go ahead and manage our events you can either do that by coming into your tool and hit manage event types or you can go to your settings and your panel settings and manage event types is there as well you'll notice if I click this button here it'll actually take me over to um, the settings the panel settings so here we are in the manage event types. Um, again, that button took us to the panel settings. Uh, and here's where I can manage my events. So if I wanted to add a new one, I can hit add new event type right up top. I'll name this event title, just uh, test event. And then this is just a test for scheduling. And we'll save. Upon saving, we have our new test event. And I can hit the downward arrow to edit this event. So now I see the title, the text, and then we have our available hours. So say I want to do uh, Monday through Thursday. So we'll do uh, specific hours on all these. And on Friday, we'll turn to never available as well as Sunday and Monday. Uh, and then we'll change the time from like uh, 10 to 4. 10 to 4. 10 to 4. 
10, 4, 10, and 4. There we go. And also, if you wanted to take breaks, you can. You can put breaks in here. So, like, uh, we have a lunch break at noon, so that's off the off limits for scheduling, things like that. You can do that as well by using the breaks. Uh, below that, we have some schedule settings. So how many appointments you want per slot. So if you want to do unlimited appointments, um, you have multiple people booking for the same time, you can do that. Or we can limit one appointment per time slot if that's what you're doing. And then we have 15 minute, 30 minute, hour or two hour time slots. So we'll do an hour time slot here. Um, and then I can also include a scheduling buffer. So if I wanted to put a specific amount of time between uh, schedules, you can do that so people aren't back to back. And then below that we have our form. So here's where we can actually uh, check out the form with taking in the information for the event for scheduling. So we have name, uh, company, phone, and email. Uh, if you wanna change that or edit them, you can delete them or hit the pencil icon to edit. And you can edit the, the type of field as well as the uh, label that is required to fill in and if it's required or not. Um, and then we can also add new fields. If you wanna add a new field, it's that easy. You hit edit and then you can choose, let's choose like, uh, like a pick list, right? And then you can put in a list where people can pick an option or things like that, which is pretty uh, simple and easy to do. Uh, and then below that we have a uh, confirmation email, or excuse me, we also have a calendar event. Um, so you can also have um, your event added to their calendar. So you can have an option uh, when someone schedules, it'll say, hey, do you wanna add this to your calendar? If they say yes, you can put the title and the description here as well. Um, so if you wanna change this to meeting at a certain time or we're meeting up for this, uh, then they'll put that on the calendar for them. Uh, and then below that we have confirmation email. So you can turn it on or off. Um, if we wanna turn this on, I can see email subjects. So you can put, hey, thanks for scheduling with me and then an email message. So this is the confirming meeting at this time. This will automatically fill uh, once someone schedules with the information and you can put some requests or whatever. This will just send an email to, um, this will send an email um, to the visitor, um, the person who's scheduled, so they'll make sure to have that in their calendar um, or just as a reminder. Um, and then also you see uh, you can connect to Google Calendar and then add this added to your calendar as well. So again, if you go to manage calendar, uh, you'll be able to connect your Google Calendar to your Birdseed account, uh, but you can very easily have all of your meetings show up on your calendar too, so you'll also be notified there. And then we'll save. Uh, but that is the full functionality of the meeting schedule. It's really cool, it's easy to do. Uh, to see it in action, you can see that if I wanted to go to the Birdseed page and I wanted to schedule a meeting, so click on this here, um, I can go to schedule or custom demonstration. I'll show you what this will look like. So we can do a 30 minute session. I'll choose Tuesday uh, at 12, put my information in. And after doing that, then we'll then send an email to us notifying. And also I would get an email, my personal email address saying, hey, thanks for scheduling with you. Uh, and we'll get that confirmation. So uh, it's a cool tool, really easy to use and also very um, helpful and um, a good way to connect with people on your website. So if you have questions, of course, let us know. We'd be happy to help you out. Uh, but thanks for watching this video and keep watching for more tips and tricks on Birdseed.